How's it going, folks? Y'all doing all right this evening? Uh, I'm gonna have a little uh, demonstration of how to put together, or not how to put together, but how to set your pins for your CBE Trek Pro. So I just got this site in right before turkey season, and I put it on my brand new Elite Envision. Uh, excuse my bow for being a little bit dirty, but uh, it's, that's how it is during turkey season. So here's the actual site. You can see there I have a five pin. So the bottom pin there is going to be the actual floating pin. Right now I have it set up for 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. So now um, you see here it's a slider obviously. And here's the front of the site. This is a cool little feature on this, this bow, I mean this uh, tar uh, target. Jeez. on this site here that if your pins are starbursting a little bit you can actually move that and it'll cover up a little bit of the light that comes into your pins so i keep that open for right now so this has got a, a pretty cool uh second axis third axis all that good jazz uh really well put together um aluminum bar there it makes it a little bit lighter which is good and um so anyway we're gonna put together we're gonna sight this thing in and we're gonna have it uh dialed up to however far it'll shoot so uh i have this bow this is like i said this is the elite envision i have this bow turned up to 70 pounds right now and i have a rear stabilizer and I have a front stabilizer and i have these deep impact um arrows there are a little bit uh, that has the outsert up front that's I think right at uh, about 500 grains for an arrow. So that's uh, that's my setup. And uh, of course we got the old ridge right there. So here's the uh, here's the CBE engage. I mean not CBE engage. CBE Trek box. And it's got all of my little goodies here. I'll show you those real quick. Like. This uh, should be pretty easy. It's not actually too much different than the setup for the CBE Engage Hybrid. Um, so I think that's going to be it there. Yeah. So let's see, I get my. So you see there, if you don't like the neon fluorescent green, there are actually some other colors that you can have here. Let's see if I can pull these out for you. Know what's in the, the goodies in the bag so you have um the fluorescent i don't know kind of red maybe uh you have a kind of a grayish looking one and you also have the really really yellow one so there you go um then of course you have the the gauge here that we'll set it on 30 we'll, we'll actually roll the pin down and i'll show you this in just a bit but you'll roll the uh the the, the bar down to where your bottom pin is dialed in at 30 and then you will mark a mark on our uh, gauge tape, which is on the bow right now or on the site right now. And then we'll go back and we'll, we'll dial it down to where the bottom pin is shooting at 60 yards. And so then we'll have a notch for the 30 and then we'll have a notch for the 60 somewhere in this range. And that'll tell us which, uh, which tape to put onto the site. So as you can see here, A, C, D, E, F, G, H, M, O and all that kind of stuff. Then you have this other side. Uh, just kind of helps to kind of hone in on exactly where you need to be. Um, so some of these things will shoot out a long ways. I don't know if you can see that or not, but maybe I don't know what the focus is like with this GoPro, but there you go. So we're going to go uh, give this thing a few little shots and, uh, and then we may stretch it on out there to a fur little piece. Like I said, we'll mark it right here on this tape. Uh, whenever we get, um, we'll get the 30 and the, and the 60 kind of dialed in there. And one cool thing that's actually different on this one than just to point this out real quick, like uh, one quick, the, the cool thing is this, you have two uh, indicator pins, basically. So whenever we get this thing dialed in, we will actually put the bottom pin because we'll, whenever we do the 30 and then the 60, we'll put the tape on it. And then our, we know that our bow will be shooting at 60 yards at that point. And I'll explain that in further detail here in a minute, but this bottom pin we will move it to the 60 mark and then we can put this top pin at the 20 mark so what that will allow us to do is to give us an idea like say if you dial it down to 60 and then all of a sudden something an animal pops up at 30 
then you'll have a pretty good indicator as far as where your pin would be sitting. So if you turn this thing, it's on 40, and you turn it down to 60, that top pin may be on, say, 35. So in a deer, we'll say a deer is at, at 25, then we just need to aim, like, really low. Right, you know, we're kind of at the bottom of the deer. So anyway, I'm going to explain that here in just a bit. So y'all hang tight. We're going to get this baby lined up, and we're going to we're going to stretch it on out there. Because you know why? Because I'm headed to Texas next week, uh, or the next week, to do a black buck or axis deer or all that or whatever walks out first me and Lacey are going out there we're actually going on our honeymoon first and we're going to go to san antonio for about three days on the river walk have a good time do a little spa day and all that kind of good stuff um but then we are going to hunt and see one of my good outfitters out there so anyway but stay tuned we're going to get this baby dialed up. all right so i made a couple shots at 30 yards and just one thing that i do and this is just me i don't necessarily you don't necessarily have to do it but uh the 20 yards whenever i had my or the original where i had it set up first i would mark, mark that tarp top little indicator uh right there because that's where my 20 yards was all right so but i had to dial it back up because i had to get my bottom pin my bottom pin right here shooting at 30. so that's what i did so now so that was based off of that bottom mark right there i'm gonna put a little tick right there and that's going to be my first mark on the tape so hang tight and i will get you right back all right so got my little mark made on there so as you can see where did i put my pencil at as you see i put the extra long mark or i say extra long mark a longer mark right there all right, so that's my 30 yard mark. So now I'm gonna dial it back down and then I'm gonna get it somewhere around in here probably and I'll uh, get it dialed in at 60 and then I'll put another mark and then we're gonna go put the gauge on it to know what tape to put on there. So I hope uh, everybody's following around with that today. Hope I'm not confusing anybody, but I'm not a professional. I'm just a normal, uh, normal dude that enjoys bow hunting and I really like these CBE sites. So stay tuned we're gonna help you get your cbe trek pro dialed in thank you all right folks i'm gonna ease on back here and uh give me a couple yards try to get this thing dialed in at 60 and then i'm gonna make another mark is gonna be pretty close to right here Maybe closer to here. Sixty on the nose should be right there. Yep.
hard to tell. I'm gonna shoot one more though. I think I may hit it a little bit high, but I'm not sure. Shoot it one more time. Actually, I think I'm gonna pull it back just a tad. Shoot it right there. Pretty sure that was high. Pretty sure both of them were a little high. So, y'all hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, folks. Had two shots at 60 yards, and they were not in the same circle, but they were same lined up. So it was just not very good shooting on my part. But I think the distance is right. I'm on. Actually, I'm on. Adjust it just a hair. So anyway, I'm gonna do that, and I'll be right back. All right. Uh, I think probably the first shot that I made earlier, I had the level off a little bit. Um, so I made uh, two more shots, or three more shots rather. Weren't the best shots. So actually I think I need to dial it back down just a little bit. The first shot I know was a bad shot, but I don't know, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is my first shot right here, it's a little bit high. I didn't really just feel just a thousand percent comfortable, but these are my last two shots at 60. And um, anyway, these are the ones that I'm going to go with. So actually, I'm going to probably need to readjust it just a tad. It's very finicky. Whenever you get out to 60 yards, you move it just a little bit because it probably moved. I moved it probably a little bit too much and it was a good probably four inches off. So I'm going to move it back just up just a hair. Shoot it again. Get 1,000% confident, and then I'm gonna mark my time. My, well, mark my tape, so y'all hang tight. All right, so I had moved, moved it up just a little bit, or moved it down just a little bit too much. So, uh, or moved it up just a little bit too much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it down just a tad. I think right there is gonna be about right. I mean, it was just a little bit of an adjustment right there um, at 60 yards that can make a big difference. Just that little bit of an adjustment because that arrow at that distance starts dropping pretty quickly. So, um, so anyway, I'm gonna shoot it one more time and see where we're at. All right, I'm gonna run up here real quick. I think those two shots felt pretty good. Uh, the first shot was a little bit higher. Remember I adjusted it. I adjusted it just a little bit too much. And then the second shot's a little bit lower, which at 60 yards, I just don't know how much better I can get. I mean, I, I'm i shooting at this. I made sure my level was right, so my right and left is all good right there. But like I said, that second shot, I adjusted it just a tad and hit right there. So I think I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit more, shoot it one more time. I know, I'm a perfectionist, but you know. I'll do the best you can. All right, made me a little bit of an adjustment and I think I got it exactly where I want it. Exactly. That would be a dead deer or whatever. Maybe a dead axis, yes. A dead axis. All right, well, I'm gonna mark my tape and uh, see what gauge we need. Hang tight, folks. All right, folks, so now you see where this uh, this bottom pin right here is marked. I'm gonna put a mark right there, and that's gonna be my 60, uh oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's gonna be my 60 yard mark like right there. It's trying to get a little dark, so, and then again, this bottom pin right here is my floating pin. So I'm gonna make a mark right there, and I'll come back. Folks, I'll tell you something else too, whenever it's time to uh, see where these two uh, marks line up on your gauge, which that's the gauge, 
and yes, I wear my gloves when I shoot because that's how I do when I hunt. So um, anyway, so I'm going to take this gauge off so that way I can get a good measurement of it uh, right there on the site and uh, know exactly what I need to do. So hang tight. All right, I took the actual tape off and I unscrewed it because it's just a lot easier. Sorry about that. It's just a lot easier to uh, to gauge this thing. If I can do this with one hand right here. It's just a lot easier to gauge this thing when it's not attached to the bow. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm lining up my 30 yard pin at the top one. And then the bottom one will be where my 60 yard is. All right, now on that side of the gauge is looking like it's between uh, K and M. All right, so I'm going to turn the gauge over because there's another set of uh, letters. So I'm thinking that maybe, uh, let's see what we got here. So we got 30, and it looks like L. All right, so I got my 30 yard pin lined up. And it looks like it's on L right there. So L is going to be my gauge. How about that? So y'all see that? So I shot the bow at 30 with my bottom pin, which is my floater. I have a five pin sight, remember? So I, that was my first mark here at the top. And then my second mark was when I dialed it down to 60 and shot it at 60. So L is my number. So we'll come over here to uh, the sights. Or the, the letters. Oh, there's L right there. So you can see L. Maybe you can't. Oh, I turned it over to K. I'm going to turn this thing back over to L. So there's my sight tape that I'm going to screw onto my bow. And it should be on out to 110 yards. It's fun to shoot out that far. So anyway, I'm going to get this thing put on. I'm going to show you what the next step is. Keep watching. All right, folks, so now I have my uh, L pin on there because, I mean, not pin, but I have my L um, tape on there because that's what my gauge said to do. But I don't know if you can see right there, but the red pin is on about uh, 55. So I'm actually going to move it down to 60 because that's where my bow is set right now. All right. Let's move it down to 60. So just hang tight and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, folks, now you can see that I have my uh, pin on the 60 right there. And now what I'm going to do is turn my bow back up <clears throat> and shoot my pins at 20 yards. And then I'm going to move that top pin to the 20 yard mark. So then I'll have two pins indicators letting me know exactly where my bow needs to be. So hang tight and I get that done. All right, folks, that's it. So you can see there my... Um, top pin is at 20 and the bottom pin right there is about 44 which is actually about i said i had it on 20 25 30 35 40 but actually i turned my bow up to 70 so that's, that's going to be right at about 44 so anyway if i want to adjust my uh floater i want to dial it down to 60 then i'll just undo my little latch there and dial it down and then we're ready to shoot so i'm gonna test this thing out uh probably tomorrow and uh Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, check out some of my other videos. I like to hunt and stuff. I'm just a good old Mississippi uh, boy that loves to bow hunt. So, um, and also if you're looking for some hunts, give me a shout. I got hunts all over that are 100% vetted by myself or some of my buddies that have been there that I trust and really say these places are good places to go hunt. So if you're looking for a hunt, give me a shout. If you're looking for a good bow, hit this old elite archery up. The Envision is a shooter. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching uh, Ridge Rock Hunt Company. And hope you'll come back and join us for another episode. If, uh, if, you, if this was a helpful video for you, I know I'm not a professional. I know the words didn't come out exactly like the one needed to. But what I did today is exactly how you need to set this uh, bow side up. CBE, Trek Pro, go get you one. It's top notch. Thank y'all. Say no game, baby.